Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have another one of my favorite one page wonders for you today. And the reason I picked this to be the um, kind of, I just did one and talked about potentially doing a series of one page wonders that are my favorites, but I decided I'm gonna kick it off with this one um, and call this number one in the series because this is so easy and um, can look fabulous. So I'm gonna make this one with a 12 by 12 piece of pretty thin scrapbook paper. Now you could use really any square size piece of paper. Like you can make a little mini one if you wanted to, if you don't have 12 by 12 paper, maybe cut your eight and a half by 11 into an eight and a half by eight and a half square and make one with me, okay? It doesn't need to be double-sided because you're only gonna see one side of the paper. Okay, I am not gonna measure, um, this is 12 by 12. If you wanna measure, you can, but I am folding it into approximately thirds. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so obviously, if you wanna measure, you know, do yours at four inches and at eight inches, okay? So now you have a piece that looks like this. And then again, we are going to turn it and fold it approximately in thirds. We'll even everything up here in a minute, so don't worry too much if you've got a little bit showing. Okay, approximately in thirds. Try to be neat if you can. Now, then you're going to just unfold it, lift it up, and then with this bottom section here of thirds, just fold it over. This is gonna make um, some pockets for you. When we're done, this project is going to have five pockets. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of inking so it's somewhat easier for you to see what I'm doing, um, but we will have pockets um, after we glue this on each end, so that's one, two, and then inside three, four, five, okay? Now I have um, shown this before on my channel um, a long time ago, um, and it was just about, I don't know, a one minute video where I just folded it really quick and didn't decorate it or kind of show you some of the potential for this one. So I wanted to take my time today, slow down, kind of ink it nice, show you how pretty it can look and hopefully encourage some of you guys to add this um, little folder to some things you know that you make. Um, like I said, I am going to trim this up just a touch once we get it glued together. No matter how carefully I fold, I always end up with just a little bit off. And I think it's just the different layers. So don't let that worry you if yours, if yours looks like mine and it's not perfect yet. Um, and we're going to... Um, I, I wanted you to also see how nice and thin. Now, once we stuff some things in there, which we're going to do together, of course, it'll get a little bit thicker. But I'm thinking this would be great, of course, to include in a larger journal. It would be a lovely if you have pen pals or do happy mail because it's you can keep it pretty flat depending on how you decorate and embellish it. So, um, you know, think, think about that too as a, something to use this for. I also have gotten to where I make some cards. I used to make a lot of cards during my um, days where I did like a lot of stamping and things, and I still like to make cards, but I've kind of gotten where I like to use things like this for a card because I just think it's so sweet. Like um, for a friend's birthday, I printed out um, a few pictures from some trips we've been on and um, things through the years and put little photos in here for her. And I just was like, happy birthday, I love you, you know, and a cute flower on the front. And I was done and she loved it. So anyway, fast, easy, and special. Okay, and if you want this pocket to not be that deep, just fold it over again. In fact, I think I'll do that with mine. Let's have a, the pocket be a little more shallow. Um, you really can't go wrong. And now, folded at this point, I will give you a measurement 
my pocket is like two inches, two inches deep. I decided I wanted it to be um, a little more narrow. Okay, so now hopefully with the inking, you can see a little bit better what's going on. Okay, now to make this lay nice and flat, I am gonna go ahead and glue this panel down. It, you know, you could skip this step if you're you know, like doing these more as a mass make because it's folded over. It's not going anywhere, but I just think it will hold the project together just a little bit more securely. If we go ahead and just glue that down. Okay, now, because I wanna leave these open and have a pocket, I don't wanna glue this whole section to here because I, I do need that to stay open, okay? Um, but what we are going to do is glue to make these three pockets. So we're going to add, um, I'm going to add glue again just for some more structure. I can't really see that crease line. Let me let me ink it. So hopefully you can see it. And guys, we have been having a lot of rain and storms here the last couple of days. So I hope the lighting on this video is okay. I've been waiting to film, trying to wait for the sunshine. But at some point, you just decide to go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add a little bit of glue right along here on these two edges here, and then on these little fold lines right here to make the three pockets. So one, two, three, four, and then right along here. I could have brought that all the way to that, that line. Okay, hold this down nice and smooth. Now, one thing I did think of, we could have added glue just to this one section if we had wanted to, because it's not a pocket. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to carefully, again, just reinforce and make sure everything's lining up the best that it can. Okay. Easy and fun. Now, if you still have just that smidge like I do, just trim it off carefully. Trim this one off carefully. Oop, little curlies. You can add some ink where you just trimmed a touch. And now let's see what we have. Um, we're gonna decorate this one and use some of these floral images from um, my new paper kit that's on Etsy. So um, let's see. And then you have a pocket on each end here. And this isn't really the right size, but here. Okay, so now you can see those five pockets. All right, so let's decorate and make it cute and fun. So I do have a new um, paper kit on Etsy and it has a coordinating freebie and I didn't I don't have the freebie printed out to show you guys I'm sorry um, I introduced it in another video I don't know why that's bubbling just a little bit um, I introduced it in a previous video but I'll link it for you in the description for this video too it's just a sheet um, an eight and a half by eleven sheet it's actually on a uh, landscape orientation and there's five images similar to these but in kind of the size of bookmarks so there's five of them and they each have a little word similar to these but the words are already printed on there so if you want that go grab it um this one is um i called this kit things to remember because i put some words on the pages so you will get um three pages uh one has all of these flower um, images and then the other two pages are pages of words with two floral images they're the same except for the font um, because I kind of like this one that looks almost like handwriting um, you have the strength to do this uh, 
you are amazing, okay? But then I also did the typewriter font because I love that font too. And I just thought it would be fun to have two choices. So I'll link that for you too if you're interested. But use any paper you have, not, not a big deal at all. And then what I wanted to do with this project, I'm trying to get that to, to lay better. What I wanted to do with this project is show you that yes, we can use these, you know, just as they come, like little cards, and you can mount, you know, ink them, mount them on um, some book page. I kind of showed you some ideas of how to make, or, or what they look like. We didn't really make the ephemera together, but I added some little tags and doodads and ribbons and stuff. And we will use some like that. But that how you can also take the images and crop, the, you know, cut them. We could punch. We could do some different things like that, too. Um, I think for my folder, and we can also make a, a little ribbon tie or clasp on here, too, if we want to. I am going to... Um, use this pink flower and now that I just said that about the closure I think it would be fun to do like a buckle kind of closure that um, fits on here and wraps around what do y'all think ha huh. let's just do something different all right now I want to, I don't want this to wrap around the you know to, to hang off but I do want it to wrap around the back quite a ways um, again, this is kind of thin paper and I'll give it a little bit of structure to have that extra. So let me show you what I'm doing. Now you could also um, like round the corners if you wanted to or like I've got a cute little scallop punch. Let's do that. I'll show you what I'm talking about to just give it a little extra. So I'm inking it. We'll have to ink again in a second. But I have this um, crocodile corner chopper. It has a scallop and a stub. So the stub one, if you put it in, it does like a ticket stub kind of corner and that's cute. And then the scallop does that. So I think I'm going to, for my little buckle here, use that scallop corner. Hopefully I'll like it since I didn't practice this or make this ahead of time. Okay, so then let's see what that's gonna look like. Add some ink. I'm using my walnut stain distress ink, if you were wondering. Okay, all right, so to make this little buckle, yeah, I think that's cute. I think I still want something else on the front too, but I can decide all of that in a minute. This we're gonna leave loose for now. And on the back, I'm gonna just glue this down. Now I'm gonna, let me ink this, because I like that look, but also so it'll be hopefully easier for you guys to see. I'm going to, I kinda want it centered. Hopefully that's centered. And then I'm gonna, I want it to be a little loose because I'm gonna add some things in there. So I'm just bringing it back just a little, and I didn't do a really hard crease. Okay. La, la, la. All right, so just, you're gonna glue that all the way down. And we could decorate the back more too if we feel like it. But there we go. Now, we are going to add Velcro dot here to close it, but I'm gonna wait to add the dot until I decide what I wanna decorate on the front. Okay, now this does mean you can't have much hanging out of this side pocket because of the way I did my closure. If you didn't have this here, you could have some things hanging out. Okay, all right, so let's just do a little um, mini collage. I have some sitting here on my desk. Of course I do, right? Um, some dictionary, vintage dictionary page. And I'm going to use this little tear ruler. Um, so it still has what looks like kind of a hand-torn edge, but it's a little bit straighter than what I had there where I had done a finger tear. And I'm going to do a piece that will leave the border of um, my folder here, I'm gonna use it to help me measure the width that I need. Um, 
And again, if you don't have one of these rulers, just use your regular ruler or just finger tear it. I just decided to do this to have a little bit more control. Um, and if you need any supplies, I will in the description have the link to my Amazon affiliate store in case you wanna see some of the items I use. All right, I'm gonna trim that off just a little bit more. Okay, so I've got some dictionary page. And then I'm also thinking about another flower maybe um, that would be cute here in the kit um, because you get, of course you can print them as many times as you want, but um, there's two pages of words and then the same two little flower images. And I really like this blue flower here, which I think will be a nice contrast to the pink. And I'm going to tear it off just a touch. And it's a little harder to tear um, because this is on some cardstock. Um, so I'll just have the bottom, bottom have that kind of torn edge, and these will be straight that I cut with my scissors and that's okay. All right, so we'll do that. And we'll have this kind of um, overlap. Let me add some ink. And I did something a couple of days ago and it's recovering, but I wasn't happy with myself at all. I cleaned up my craft desk when I was done for the day, I try to at least have this one little space in my craft room cleared off so the next morning I can take pictures or if I'm ready to do a video that maybe I prepped or if I just want to craft, my desk is clear. And I left the lid off of my favorite Distress Ink Pad. So luckily I do have one of the re-inkers um, and the, you know, the walnut stain and just put a few drops and let it sit. And it wasn't completely dried out. It was just one night, but I was really, really frustrated with myself. Okay, I'm gonna bring this a little closer to the edge and leave a little extra here. I'm not gonna completely center this just because I feel like it. And we'll see how it looks. So add a little bit of ink, or ink pop. We already did the ink. Add some glue. Okay, let's see. And then we're gonna have this one here. We're definitely going to add one of my words. Um, how about the truth comes in whispers? And I tried to, I don't know if you can tell on the video, these have a little bit of a, just a neutral kind of, rectangular backing under the words. They're not, you know, just the words on white, but it's it's very subtle. So hopefully that will work with lots of projects for you guys. And if you, you know, you also can cut these apart. Like if you don't want the truth comes in whispers, you could just cut out the word truth, right? Um, or whisper, if you wanted to use that. So, you know, use your imagination. There's lots of options. Okay, and I think on here, let me pull out, um, I've got a couple of these with some different labels and things. I'm gonna call my doodads, some of my doodads, and let's just see if we want a doodad on here. I may just add a little extra interest to the cover. And of course, some ink. And this is also why I wait to put that Velcro dot on because I don't really know exactly where everything's going to end up. And um, I am going to have this, this come over the edge just a touch. So when I glue this, I'll only put glue really on about two thirds. Okay. I like that. I'm going to get this out of the way and then oh I didn't know I printed that on a piece of paper that had already been printed on 
no idea. Must have been um, on my printer. I didn't realize it. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, no, now I have to look. Look at that. Aw. This was um, one I had printed to start working on a project with some of the Pink Monarch Prince papers. Ah, that's when you're trying to move too fast. I guess I'll have to print it again. All right. I'm going to bring that. Where do I want that? I'm going to bring it over. Yeah, I'm going to bring it over like that. And kind of use the... Um, little bit of the blue background of this flower. And there go my puppies. Um, I told y'all we were having some storms and stuff and I was sitting with them because they were both a little upset um, with the rain. But, um, you know, they would be happy if I sat with them all day and, and didn't get anything else done. So, all right, I am going to finger tear this time. A little piece of this book page. This is from one of my flower. Um, now I'm going to use the ruler because I want that piece straight. From my one of my flower books. Oh, I think my husband's home. So that's a good thing. I hear the garage opening up. In fact, I'm going to shut the door to my studio. So he knows I'm recording. He doesn't come in and start telling me about the oil change he just had done on my car. <laughs> he took my car and needed an oil change. Um, and he's sweet like that and took it for me. Okay, I just didn't expect him home that quick, but that's a good sign. All right, so I'm gonna use, I used some dictionary page here. We're gonna do another little um, collage here. And this one, I'm gonna use this, um, this yellow flower and I'm going to tear the top a little bit too and again you can use any papers um, this would be fun like I said I think it would be super fun like I did for a friend of mine um, to have the uh, photos and things like that in here how fun the little memory book or a little card or a gift or something. I think so many of us, you know, take pictures on our phones and things, and we, I, I know I don't, you know, print pictures like you used to get them developed, right? If you're old like me, you remember the excitement of picking them up at, at um, Kmart or somewhere, right? The drugstore where you had your pictures developed, but you never know, knew what you were going to get either, so sometimes it was actually disappointing. But um, anyway, I think now sometimes taking the time to do that and print out um, a photo and give it to somebody as in a card um, you know I don't know I think is a nice touch uh, having something you can actually hold on to and not just look at on a screen um, I don't know I think it'll be interesting I don't think they'll be the same kind of um, like now we dig through old photos um, you know, will there really be that even that exercise of sitting, you know, with with other generations in your family and looking at photos in that way, since everything now is online and on our phones and on a screen? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how all of that evolves. All right. This one just says expect miracles. And I was careful because I really didn't want to see this collage. Um on this flap, so I was trying to be careful with that. Okay, so now um, it's, if we want to decorate these pockets some, which you guys know I do, so I am going to think about how I want to decorate those real quick, and then we will, um, then we will add some things to the actual pockets and see how it looks when we fold it all up. Um, this was, again, sitting on my desk that I hadn't cut out yet from one of the Pink Monarch kits. You guys know I love all of their papers. Um, and I've been so fortunate recently um, to have the opportunity to be a guest designer for them, a video creator. So um, if you haven't noticed that, um, some of my um, 
videos they've been featuring on their YouTube channel. Yay! Um, and if you haven't gone over and, and taken a look at any of those, I sure hope you would. Um, it would really mean a lot to me to have your support there as well. Um, Anna and Elena own Pink Monarch Prints, and they've just been so generous and kind. And um, I would love for y'all to check it out. Um, and you, if you just in YouTube put in Pink Monarch Prints, it comes right up. You know, they have a really big YouTube channel and lots of um, lots of great digital paper kits and um, lots of videos to help you, whether you're a really experienced crafter um, or if you are just starting out. They have like projects for all levels, which I love. And y'all know I love easy things too. I think the color of this flower right here goes really, really well with this paper. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick that there. And then again, I might grab another one of my words for one of the pockets. Whoops, I kinda wanted, I wanted to layer these together. So let's just see. Maybe it does need to go that direction. Okay, so I've got that one. This one says special delivery. Let me see what my words say. Let's see if I can find one. Um, how about listen to your heart? Because we're talking about the truth comes in whispers. And I think I put on this, this flap, expect miracles. So now we're going to also listen to our heart. And I did end up using the ones that are the um, typewriter font. But like I said, I really like that other one too. So y'all have to let me know what you think. Um, I left just enough of this flower that I think I can use it. Look at that. We'll see what it looks like. I think it'll be okay to have it hang over the pocket some. we go and we'll say listen to your heart and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there in the middle yet in fact I may want listen to your heart in the middle and we'll do the special delivery over here because that way I kind of have the two that sort of coordinate um, on either end now because this is taller than my pocket I don't want to close up my pocket so I'm going to be really careful where I stick my glue because if I glue all the way down it'll close up that part of my pocket I don't want to do that I'm whispering as if that will stop me from doing that not funny again these can be decorated however you like I'm just trying to give you a few little ideas um let's bring some of the, whoo, this is fragile, fragile. As you can tell, a little bit of my dictionary, kind of a nod to the front of our little folder. We'll bring it into the middle here. I'm really good, if you guys haven't noticed, at um, distress inking my fingernails. <laughs> oh. And maybe with this one, we'll just do a punch of this leaf from the flower and see how that looks. Someone commented um, on one of my videos recently that she can't, she's can't wait for me to start making my fall journals and fall crafts. And we're sitting here in July and you know what? I am so ready. I am so ready for fall and I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. Um, because fall and then as we head into the holidays, also I love doing, um, you know, crafts for Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that as well. But um, I'm like, oh my gosh. So soon, soon, right? I think, I think August. August won't be too soon, will it? Tell me what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Is August too soon to start doing fall journals and crafts? Because um, I definitely have that bug. All right, this is so cute, and I wanna finish up the closure. Instead of sitting here and making more journaling cards, let me grab some that I made. That I made earlier. I didn't disappear, I promise.
promise. Um, these si this size that are kind of the bookmark size are going to be too big. But um, so what I did with these again, just cut them out. I mounted them on the um, book page from one of my flower books. You can use any kind of book page. Um, added a few little words, tags, a ribbon. And you're gonna see these, a lot of these are gonna be taller than my, my journal or my little folder. But let's see what it looks like, you know? I don't know, this one's a little bit shorter. Let's see what it looks like when we fold it up because we might find out we like it, you know? Um, I do kind of like how it's hanging out. Now, if you don't want it to, you can make sure you trim yours to these smaller, smaller sizes. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think it looks sweet. Um, and it makes me happy. So we're going to leave it like that. But you can make some of these as well. And he, real quick, this is what the freebie looks like. Um, I made an accordion. I showed this. I did a little tutorial on how to make this. Um, and it's going to get mounted in one of my journals. And then be um, a journaling spot. You can write on this side. And added the little dangle. So, um... Anyway, I'm going to call this One Page Wonder done after we stick a, a Velcro on. And if you haven't seen my videos or I've used these, this is the kind I use. I mean, get whatever kind you want. You can get them at office stores, Amazon. I get mine on Amazon. And I like these because they're just super duper skinny. So the way I normally do it is just go ahead and decide where on my closure you know, I want it to be, and then I put the side that's gonna stick so that they're lined up perfectly. I go ahead and set it there, and then I just press it down. So now I know that it's lined up where it needs to be. You don't really even see it. Okay, so there you go. That one is um, is done. I hope you like it. I hope that if you haven't already, you'll. Um, Join me on this journey. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, oh, one more thing. So this I call this is a five pocket one page wonder. But if you decided not to make it something that you could like just give to somebody as is or tuck inside a journal, you could mount it to your journal. So if you mounted this section on a page, then when the person got to this page, they'd have this fun interactive element. And then the other thing you could do to make it a six pocket is you could leave either one of the sides or the top open for yet another pocket, which would be, I think, kind of fun. Oh, guys, I didn't put anything in here. I didn't. I said we were going to stop, and then I just keep talking. All right, now, what is important with these is that they don't hang out too much because of the kind of closure that I have. So, um... Let me see if I have one. I don't know. We'll just use one of these that I haven't mounted yet so that you can remember and I can remember that I do have a pocket here. There we go. That one will be okay. All right. And there we go. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, you'll make one. Let me know. I'd love to see your creations. Everybody have a great day. Thanks.